Hey, welcome to the video today. I'm going to talk about how you can map photos based on the laser range finder coordinates instead of the drone. Overall, in the video today, we'll talk about why you might want to do that, how it kind of works within the metadata. Run over the script I wrote to do that, and then cover how you could run that script yourself. So you can see on the screen here, we have the 70 use H20 series payload, which includes a white laser range finder. So that's what is really targeted towards H20 series, M30 series, anything that has that laser range finder on board. So how that works, laser range finder, we're able to get a distance away from the drone. The drone itself, we have an XY coordinate of, so based on the distance away from the drone, we can get an estimated coordinate. So taking a look at some data here, we can see the wide photo, kind of where the drone is at, and then the zoom photo. So kind of going into one of the use cases here that some folks had brought up was you know, post disaster response here, wanting to mark at different locations, maybe that have been hit, need repairs, wiped out, etc. And it would be much easier if the photos on the map were placed above that location instead of kind of back where the photo was taken. So if you look at the map here, we're in uh, Google Maps, but really any type of GIS map where you do a photo to point, it's going to place it at the XY coordinate. So we'll pull up Command prompt here, go ahead and drag that over as it is a lot to type. And take a look at one of the images metadata here. Kind of show you the metadata behind what you're seeing on the map. So go ahead and XF tool there. And you can see GPS latitude, longitude based on the drone's location is what the photo is currently being mapped on. If we go ahead and take a look, you can see coordinates are the same. Scrolling up to the laser range finder data, you can see stored we have the latitude and the longitude as well. So solution here is to replace the latitude longitude with that laser range finder data. So on the map side, we then are able to map the photos to that laser range finder location. Have gone ahead and uploaded the script on my side to a GitHub. If you'd like to take a look there, we'll add a link in the description. But essentially the idea is with the code replacing in batch. So going over to GitHub here and we'll download the code. Downloads as a zip. So if we go ahead and look at the downloads, I actually already downloaded this a bit earlier and unzipped it, but the easiest way, if you want to run this, is going to be using the Pro Bolt. But before we get into that, let's open PyCharm, my IDE of choice, and take a look at the code. So you can just link to the unzipped folder, and PyCharm will go ahead and open that up. So starting off with the main.py file, which is what you want to run if you're just running the script via Python, kind of run through this at a high level. So starting off, you can see we have our file extensions, the JPEG, both lowercase and uppercase, need the uppercase for running on a Mac actually, but we've made the images files a set. We also go ahead and get our directory that we're looking at the images from the user to start as an input in the console. From there, can proceed if there's no image files, let the user know no image files found in the directory. But for those image files that we do find, we're going to use Phil Harvey's EXIF tool, which is kind of the power behind the operation here. 
to extract the tag information that we care about. So if we look at XF tool here, you can see extract tag data using sub process to run that. Then after we pull out that tag data, we're able to move into the laser rangefinder data, laser rangefinder data, essentially just doing string manipulation to get the latitude and longitude from the laser rangefinder. When we're doing that, you can see the tags we're also pulling laser rangefinder status and GPS status. You need to verify that is normal and then GPS or RTK in order to verify we have a laser rangefinder latitude and longitude that we want to use. Then back with the EXIF tool, going to replace GPS in the metadata with our laser rangefinder latitude and longitude. So hopefully that's a good high level for you. Uh, code is working. Tried to do object oriented program here with some different modules. So be able to adjust that as you want. You can see the overwrite, ignore warning at the top of the file there as well. So moving on here back to the code, kind of jumped ahead a bit here, but one of the easiest ways to run this is after you download the folder on Windows, you could go straight to the dist folder within there and went ahead and package the application with Pi installer that you could run. So you could open up folder that contains your images, just drag and drop that application in, double click to run. And then since it's already in the, our directory of choice, you can just go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to look for images within the folder that it is. So we can see one, two, three, four, all good to go. And then vice versa, if you wanted to keep it in the folder or keep it somewhere else, you can kind of do that drag trick showed earlier and just drag the folder over. It will paste the path. Once again, hit enter and it's gonna do the same thing. As we already have the laser rangefinder, essentially writing the same data now, but you can see still working a-okay. The other option would be if you want to just directly run the Python file or recreate it yourself, kind of starts at the main.py. And then, you do need to have two things installed here. One is Python, so python.org slash downloads, click the big yellow button, and then make sure you click the option to add it to your path when you're installing. And then the second one is installing Exif tool. So have instructions for both Windows and Mac here. You can see, got to get the file from the Exif tool homepage here. So we'll go ahead and download that. And then drag that test file. Mm -hmm. I think I did something wrong here. Perhaps I grabbed the wrong file. Ah, uh, yes. So back on the XF tool homepage is actually the second one here. I wanted to grab for this. So we'll go ahead and delete that first one. Unzip the file in the downloads folder. And then back to the instructions here we'll need to drag that to the desktop remove the dash k by renaming it there's an exe at the end you're just not seeing it here on windows and then back to the c drive and i think i think it's windows folder let's go back and check really quick yep c windows directory so just drag that XF tool into there. You can see I've already done that along with Python, you can see in there as well. So summarize, you just need Python and XF tool installed if you wanna go ahead and run this script. So you can see now the example, uh, if you'd like to do this, yourself on Google Maps, you can go to My Maps, add a layer and then import. You can pull a album directly from Google Photos to the map itself. So easy way to map 
if you're not using like ArcGIS or QGIS. And then I'll just show you the properties here. When you look at details or even on a map like get info, I don't believe you see the laser rangefinder information, but you do see that GPS latitude and longitude. So that's the initial one. If we go ahead, open up the one we changed with Exif tool and our script, we can see the latitude longitude now 1427, obviously different from the initial one there. So another way to verify it worked outside of actually mapping it as well. So once again, code is available here. We'll drop a link in the description if you'd like to make any use or changes to that. Hopefully it's also useful for those of you who might want to write a script yourself based on something within the metadata. So hopefully that is of use. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or more. I'm sure the script could be certainly simplified and optimized a bit but happy to see it working in my testing. So thanks.